oversight department, 297. There's the bedroom. That was that puzzle that we did. What is that? Wait, what? H equals... Okay. So do I need to know that? And then those are the other symbols? Okay, just give me a one second. Let me just write this down so I don't have to keep coming back to it. Alright, let's just give it a shot here. I'm not exactly sure, but we can try. So, um, the H. Where's the H? The H goes to that one, I do believe. Down there yeah that has to be it okay so let's make sure yeah there's the H okay so we're looking for I'm trying to find it that one so D and then I think it's oh no that's not what I meant to do Go back. How'd you go back? Oh, no, no, no. Go. Go. <laughs> oh, no. I messed it up. There. Okay, and then... So we got that one. And I think we're looking for... Why? Am I wrong in thinking that? Because it, I think that that's right. Although I don't know what that would spell. But, you know, we're trying. And I think the next one is S. And then T. And then B. Is B, and then we're looking for the up arrow. That's P, and then I, and then A. That literally did not spell anything. With it, with it being D Y S T B P I A, it's like dis, dysbia. That does not spell anything. And then a B. No, it's not a B. Whoa, hold on. Nope, it can't be a B. Hold on. no, no, go back. Um, that one would be. I'm looking for it. An O. And then that going up is a P. And that to the side is an I. And then to the left is an A. So we have D Y S T O P I A. Dystopia. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I got so excited. I'm like, dystopia. Um, okay. What, what exactly is that supposed to mean, though? Like, is that supposed to be a, a code phrase for something? Or... Hmm. What am I looking for exactly? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 We had this little thing that I never actually really looked at. Question. Question. Does it go over here? I can't use it. But it looks like it would fit. 
Are you sure? Can I combine with that? Oh, yep, I sure did. And don't I have that other one? Yes, combine with this. Now. Can I put that here? Yes. What am I doing? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Like what, what is the purpose of this? Wait, what? Is it supposed to be this symbol? They all look relatively the same to me. I mean, there is some bits that are different. But it's like it's pointing down. Excuse me? I need to look at this thing again. So that one needs to be up and down. This, this, not that one. This one, it has to be up and down. How do I get it to where it looks like it's lined up right? That's pretty close, right? And then this one has to be, how do I get it to, oh, that does not look right. And then just turn it. Oh! It, it was so picky about the orientation. He is watching. Oh god, that scared me. Jesus. <laughs> is it science? No. Is it the code that I had? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It has to be dystopia, right? I would think so. Okay, we're gonna try it. There had to have been a lot easier of a way to do this, but I have to do it the hard way. So, you know? Uh, let me go. Let me go this way. Wait, did I pass it already? There it is. <laughs> I'm like, what? Okay. Looking for a S. A T N O and I already passed it. No, I didn't. Wait. It's up here. There you go. Okay. And then a P and I, which will go this way. And an A. Enter. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, there's an eyeball up in here. Oh, in the lever thing, the crank. Okay, and what is this? I've, oh my God, she was found dead? 38 year old French psychologist and author of the new book, Mankind Analysis, was found dead last night in Belgrade Fortress. What, how did she end up there? What the heck? Um, Irene has been missing since her mysterious absence from her presentation at the ESPA Congress last month. Serbian police discovered her body lying near the bushes of the citadel. The cause of death and whether this may have been a horrible hom- Or ha may have been a horrible homicide. I mean, homicides are horrible, okay? Um, are not yet known. <laughs> That's funny. Um, alright. So we got the crank. Let's use that. What's gonna pop up at her? Oh, nothing. I just did it myself. It's a music box. We. Power is machinery. Nature is ignorance. Okay. Power and nature. Is that a hint to something? Or... We. Power is machinery. Nature is ignorance. We science. Okay. Think there's anything for me to do there? I close it. Power is machinery. 
So that just plays music though. Hmm. Oh, wait, what? Did that unlock this? I'm so confused. You are getting closer? Oh no. Attempts? Oh crap. So it's... I'm probably gonna fail at this. I have no idea. That's the high note. Clear. sounds right for the last two notes I think certain that I have at least um, this one like I have that right it's just trying to get these three to be correct um, let me let me play this and actually listen to it while I'm doing this that sounds right doesn't it here we go. That's right. Yes! Unlocked! Okay, that helped a lot. Thank you. <laughs> um, so go in. What is in here now? An office. That the light just went out and now it's red. What is happening? happening are we un why is there that type of door oversight facility entrance Be what is happening right now what is happening right now it doesn't work anymore i can still go back in here so that's the good thing um that was weird how it just switched what do I, what am I doing? Oh, delete. <laughs> I don't have a clue. <laughs> I have no idea. Wait, what the heck is this about? Oh, is this gonna like? So that we have to put this on something. How do we know what to put it on though? Berlin, Paris, Rome, Athens, Beijing, Tokyo. There's some stuff down here. Wellington, Los Angeles, Mexico, Panama. But where exactly are we supposed to put this on? Hmm. Honestly, have no idea. Okay. So, I should light this lamp. I didn't think we had any... I thought our lighter was out. Right? Yeah, I can't use that. How, how do I light the lamp, then? Is there something else I have? That I can use? 
no. <laughs> the answer is no. Okay, I guess we should look at this thing. What is happening? Okay, I'm going. We on like a ship? I told you it was a freaking fake hotel, but what in, where in the hell are we then? I don't wanna listen to that. Oversight department room, uh, supervisor 1313. Okay, so I got a key card. Where were they talking to us from? Oversight instructions to the room supervisor 313, whose current workstation is the oversight, uh, oversight facility 297, get the room ready for the subject before his awakening on the selected date. You'll find an orientation film in the room with further instructions. Stay at your oversight facility while the subject makes progress. Write down all of his actions. You will have an incident section just in case anything out of the ordinary ha happens or occurs. When you have everything under control, write a false press note about the disappearance of the subject in order to erase his data from the records. Once you are done, collect your papers and leave them in the container outside the oversight area. Quality supervisor. Um. Hmm. So I was right. We are kind of like a test, a test subject. So it says write down all of his actions and everything. But it says write a false press note about the disappearance of said subject. What the heck? Like honestly, what have we gotten ourselves into? Incident. The subject found in... Okay, I cannot read that. <laughs> the subject found an oversight classified document in which a telephone code was mentioned. He called and the emergency status was enabled and he was provided the new pills. Okay. He consumed the pills and suffered an overdose. He fainted. After a few minutes, the subject woke up and took the... Daf... I don't even know how to say that. Looks like he didn't see it before. Everything is back to normal? When did I take the... Whatever that's called. De Dehydron? When did I take that? I didn't know I took that. Okay. Subject tracking. Selected date for 503 process is the 25th. Woke up at 423 AM, correctly opened the toolbox and found the knob, opened the bathroom door. First pills breakdown. Correctly consumed his Amidol dose, found the lever and turned it on, got into the living room. Correctly activated the power supply lights on. Correctly completed the turning keys. It says incident. Okay. Called 48151 and activated the film projector. Correctly completed the dehedron. Is that what that is? The dehedron? Okay, hold on. Give me one second. Wrong one. He consumed the pill. Okay, after the subject woke and took the... Ah, that does not make any sense. What did I take? Oh! The dehedron, is that what that little sphere thing was? Inserted dystopia and found the music crank. Correctly completed the security pad, opened the door, and then turned the... And then that's it. Okay. These are not mine. I should take them. No! Oh, I, I thought that said you should take them. I'm like, no. One, three... Yeah, okay, three, one, three... Take by mouth every 12 hours. M though. These are in a red bottle though. Yeah, we don't want to take those. Um, where's the, where do I put the key card? Safety first. Enter. What am I doing here exactly? Oh, do I need the key card for this, maybe? No? I thought the key card might have went in there. 
Because doesn't it look like it? Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... Yes, you do. Yes, you... Oh, not the silver tray. <laughs> yes, you do have an ID card. Yeah, there we go. Enter your password. 313? Oh, well, stop. I ain't done yet. Nope, go back. 31... Hmm. What would the password be then? 503 maybe? Oversight facility 297. Let's try 503. I don't think that that would be right, but we can try it. All right, I'm really honestly not sure. I have not found anything, so yeah. Not sure about that one. Um, let's head back in here, because there has to be something in here. Can I? Can I go around? Oh, I can. Well, I didn't even know I could do that. That looks weird, doesn't it? Like all these little flame, like not flame. That's why I'm thinking about it. These little sparks. It reminds me of like a fire. Um, oh, I can lift this up. Okay, so we have another one, but this time it's C, T, O, and R. Do I need to be writing this stuff down? Probably. <laughs> okay, so there's the typewriter. We have the glasses. I guess we'll keep that. Good morning, fellow colleagues. I'm usually a man of few words, so I will try to express my gratitude as concisely as possible. I am pleased to be present at this Congress and want to thank all of my colleagues who have made it possible for me to be here today. It means a lot to be the chosen chair of this Congress. It is truly an honor. I have suffered much to be here and become who I am today. It is not only science that brought me here. My past experiences shaped me as a doctor and as a person. So, this must have been where we were writing our speech. Life experiences are everything. In the end, they are us. My experiences tell me that science and society share a strong bond, unbreakable. We, as humanists, have a duty, a duty to use science and technology for the betterment of the human condition. They use, why do I always say that? They should be instruments to achieve a social purpose, not instruments to confuse us. Science must serve social practice and cultural development, and they must do the same for science. Hmm. I feel like that's a very limited view on things. What is this? Irene is not dead. Ooh. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's lighter fluid. Perfect. Get that here in one moment though. Um, anything else? I don't think so. Um, alright, so let's do this. Combine with our lighter from earlier. Now we have a filled lighter. Now we can use this on this. Perfect. Nice. Oh, there's something here. What? What? <laughs> I want it in cryptex, okay. But I can't. I am very confused right now. Cryptex, look at it. Can I do anything with this? This has to be for that puzzle in the bathroom, am I right? Okay, let's go back to the bathroom real quick. I say real quick, but we can only walk, so. All right. Maybe we can then use this down here. Or maybe I have to actually get down there first. <laughs> okay, nope, can't use that either. <sighs> Okay, you can hush. 
Maybe I just need to look at it and then kind of remember it, maybe. Because I swear that these are the symbols. So, we have... Oh my goodness. I don't even know how... Like a little teardrop with a <laughs> thing in it? I don't know. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. That looks like a very pretty C. Um, I don't even know what that is. Like a little deer... Oh, that's what it reminds me of. Like a, almost like a little treble clef or something. We got another one of those. And I don't know why that symbol reminds me of water, but it does. Okay, and then the bottom, we have a triangle. A little T with a little dot. A arrow with a dot. Another triangle. Um, another T, or like an arrow, that's an arrow, and then a, a little V, it almost looks like a little heart monitor V. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can do something with that. <laughs> okay, so is this supposed to be the bottom? And maybe this is the top? No, this has to be the top and these have to be the bottom. So, for this one... I'm so confused at what I'm supposed to be doing here. So am I supposed to be finding like... This one goes with the triangle. But that also goes with the T as well. Me is very confused. Okay, and then this goes with the arrow up. And then that is the triangle, <laughs> which I can't hit. Um, hmm. What if we do it like that? We don't have that symbol. But this also goes for that, too. So what if we do this? Okay. And we do not have that symbol at all. But we have this one. And that's the V. Oh, boy. How do we know what, what is what, though? That's my thing. Like, I can do that. But there's absolutely nothing that's going to take care of these. Especially this one. So that's what's confusing me, I think. Huh. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Alright, so I've been looking at this for a while and... I, I'm on the right track. Like, I have the right symbols. But my only thing is, are the symbols supposed to be blue or red? Like, what is my goal here? Um, so, that's kind of what we're looking at. Like, the first symbol is this one and the triangle. But is it supposed to be red? Or am I supposed to get them to where they're staying blue? You know what I mean? So... We're going to have to mess with this. Uh, let's see if we can try and work with it to where it will stay blue. So the next one is this one. Which... Okay, that will work. Okay, what's this one? This one is the little arrow. So we actually need that one. Nope, we don't need that. But we have to have that too. Uh, it's gonna be a little harder than what you think at first here. Hmm. Let's put that back. We need that one. 
let's just see if I can get all of these to basically block each other out. Let's put that one back. Do this, do that, do that. Do that, do that, and that. Okay, so, to fix this one, We need this one though. We need this one to be blue. So we could do that. And then we could do that. Then the other one for this one is the arrow. What if we do like that? Okay. So we have those three, but then the next one for this one is this. <sighs> okay. Oh wait, they're all blue. Okay, well that worked. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, see the C is the up, the up arrow. Oh wait, no, I got this totally wrong. It's this one that needs to be blue and then this one needs to be the up I don't know how to get rid of that though that's the issue because that's down I could do this one oh okay 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 that's that and then this one is for the triangle and for the up and then the only one we have left is this one which is gonna be the V we need this one to be... Huh. So we need this one to change. That's not gonna work though, because we need this one to... to do something different. But it's locked in by these two. I just mess that up severely or am I okay <laughs> I think I'm okay all right and so this one is this and that and then this one oh I don't need this oh did I do it Okay. Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> sure. Um, what the? It was this for the typewriter? Oh, okay, gotcha. Although I still don't know what the frick I'm supposed to be writing on the typewriter, but all right. Coolio, we did something. Woohoo! All right, let's leave. Let's go this way. Is there anything on the floor? I didn't even check that. Maybe I did. All right, typewriter. We have a key for you. We have a letter R. Here it is, okay. So we obviously know that something is gonna have the letter R in it. Um, <laughs> let me, I'm trying to think. What would the code be? Like I, would it be this? One, two, three, four, no, three, it's like three, 23, is that, that can't be it, right? It's not. I swear I turned you off. Who keeps turning the radio back on? What if we try 423? Although I swear that that clock says three, but are you kidding me right now? Okay. Sure. This one is flashing. It's like in the corner of the desk. 
surveillance. That one's above the couch. What about these? Why is that one like green, purple, blue, red? <laughs> okay. That one's in the bathroom. Are they the... And they're on pause. All of them are. Are the cameras in the vents? Because I remember there being a vent in the bathroom. So that one should be right by the desk in the corner. Oh my god, they're in the vents. The cameras are in the vents. Whoa. Okay. The exact time of your login. So what do we do now from this point? I know we are gonna have to type something, but what is it that we're gonna be typing? That is just so strange. And there's nothing else I can do there. Weird. All right. Let me go back to the magazines that we got. So I think that this one was the first one. And let me write down all these letters. So this one was in July. So I'm just gonna put July. And we have an E, an F, and an A. Okay. And then our next one. Why do we have so much stuff? <laughs> our next one, I think, was this one. And this one was in February, though. So that would have been first. February. And we have a B, an E, and an A. So February came first. So B in July. E F A. So that's what it has so far. B E N E F A. Benefa. Benefa. <laughs> Benefa. Um, and then our last one that we just got was in October. So that would be after the one for July. Is C T O R. Benefactor. Ooh. Okay. So is that what we're supposed to be putting in here? All right, let's try it. B E whoops, B E N E F A C T O R. Something happened. Sound like a flame? Benefactor. Whoa! I knew that that was weird looking, but like did it turn on the lights? State, power, hierarchy, machinery. It's the same thing. We science. What? Exodus, arrival. Exodus and arrival? Am I supposed to be how do I know which one is which, though? That's my thing. This has to be connected to the globe. But the issue is where or how do we know which uh, place to locate? Um, I'm trying to think. Did we have anything that has a destination on it? Silver. I mean, I know that we're going to Boston. Hey, question. Is there a Boston on here? Um, let me see. I think here, actually, we need to go this way. Mm hmm. Boston! Hey, there is a Boston. Okay, how do we. So, right there. Boston is. Four degrees north and 12 degrees west. Okay, do we need a, do we need a starting destination or do I have something that says where I, where am I from? How about the envelope? Volga, Volgograd, Russia. I, I swear I just seen that. Um, let's look. So 
we're going over here. Oh, yeah, there it is, right there. Uh-huh. So that's five degrees north and eight degrees east. So let's try one of those. That can't be a, like a coincidence. So Exodus. Exodus is where we came from and then the arrival would be Boston. Okay, 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 I'm getting this. Um, what am I on right now? What? Oh, okay, maybe. So the north, these go on the outside letters. So that goes up to 10. So that would be five north. So up here. And then the next one would be B8 East. Right? Did I do that wrong? Oh wait, we have to enter. Oh! Nice. And then the arrival. See, I'm not used to that. Like, you have to enter it. I'm just used to, like, if you have it right, it'll just automatically do it. <laughs> okay. Um, alrighty. So this one is gonna be 12 west. So it's gonna be down here. Uh, let's slow it down just a little. Okay. And then switch. And then this one's gonna be 4 north? So it should be right there. Okay, and then enter. Oh gosh, what the heck? I was like, I hear chains, but I don't know what that is. Congratulations, you have successfully passed the test. Now, you belong to the state. Wait, do you what? You are one of us. You may leave the room whenever you're ready. Further on, you will find your task as a son of the new era. Follow the path shown above you. Head towards the exit. Let us be thankful to the benefactor. Congratulations. You have successfully passed the test. What the heck? Now, you belong to the state. Okay. Was I right or not about this being a test? Wait, what the heck was that? I think that was the door closing. <laughs> um, yeah, this is all a test. What the heck? Now the TV says follow. All right, am I going? I'm going here. All right. Personal room 0297A. Work hard. Amadol dose ready. What? Confession booth? Pray? What the? Let us be thankful to benefactor. Blessings of this state. Blessings of the masses. Work hard. Increase production. Work hard. Increase production. By the masses. For the masses. Let us be thankful to the benefactor. What the heck is happening? <laughs> Okay. So we were obviously chosen. My concern is what do, what happens when people don't pass the tests? Do they get killed or do they just get released? How do they, how do they explain that? And then what what is going on here? We're we're praying. What? What is this? Play. Recordings of subject E-503. If you are listening to this, it is because you 
you have completed the indoctrination phase. Now, you are one of us. From this moment, you will be recognized by the state as Subject E-503. Given your profile and after successfully completing the expectations, your function as a son of the new era will be to lead the laboratory and to complete all the tasks that the benefactor delegates upon your new ID. You will be supplied with pills every eight hours. They will revoke your eating, social, and lucrative needs hmm? in such way that your productivity will not be affected. What? Work hard, increase production. Okay, well now we know what that is. Wow. So that's just gonna play it again. Okay. So us taking those pills decreases our need to eat and to be social and whatever else. We're just freaking workhorses and the benefactors, I guess, who we're praying to or like, I don't, I don't even know. Where in the heck are we? Whoa, all right. So we have this tube coming down. Don't know what that is all about. I really don't wanna take that. So we're gonna go here first. Welcome. Oh, we get an ID card. Chief scientist. All right, chief scientist. All right, well, I guess we'll take this. Please consume your dose. I figured that that's what this was for. All right. Wow. I just got an achievement called a new beginning. Dang. All right, well. I guess work hard, be productive. It is a pretty cool little outro that I can still walk around and stuff. That's neat. Dang, all right, well, that was it. I kind of pretty much nailed it right on the head as far as it being like a fake room. You're being a test subject for things. Didn't really understand the whole like idea until later on that there's just this freaking science cult basically that is um obtaining people for their skills but that's also very scary because they're taking away your need for food and and social life and just basically turning you into nothing but a work a work monster like that's all that you're doing is just working but working to create what is my question like they're they're getting people from pretty from pretty unique backgrounds you had the one woman you had us like what are they trying to work so hard to create huh and they have like a very limited view in my opinion of what science is it's like science should not be confusing well it, it is sometimes we don't have all the answers huh all right, well that was the guest. I really, really did enjoy this. Um, some of the puzzles were a little bit more challenging than others, but they were still very nicely put together and very fun to kind of work your way through the rooms and solve the puzzles as you go. And you also had kind of have to backtrack, which makes it nice that, you know, it's not like you're done with the bathroom. You don't need to go in there ever again. So that was kind of nice that they interacted the rooms with each other. The storyline was fun. It, it kept your interest as to, especially with Irene, like, where did she go? Did she, and then it, the shin, she came up dead. And then you see the note that she's not dead. So it, the, all the little notes in the storyline definitely keeps your interest as you go along. But I really did enjoy this. I hope that you guys did as well. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all again next time. Goodbye!